Hello on a lovely evening here in South London. We're at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive round of football. What more could you ask for? And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, good-looking run. And can he find someone at the far post? And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish, but the marking is woeful. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Might be able to get in behind the defence. Giving it a try. And that's sound goalkeeping. Well, the crowd know that set-pieces could be their best chance. Just listen to that reaction. Trying to deliver it accurately. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Chowdhury. Rivera. Well, can they open up the defence here? Oh, what an opportunity! And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Phillips and Palace could get in behind the defence and he stopped them in their tracks just the challenge that was required Really effective shielding under pressure. Making sure it, this could square the game. But the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Well, thumped clear. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. An important interception. 
And on the verge of hearing the half-time whistle, and they've mostly silenced the home crowd. Stuart, interested to get your take? Yeah, it's certainly been an open game, but on the balance of play, I think they do deserve their lead. They just have that little bit more creativity, particularly in the wide areas. Darshain. Chowdhury. Hardy. Possession one. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. So there goes the half-time whistle. It is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors. They find themselves on top, Stuart. Well, we talked before the game about their ability to score goals, and they've looked so threatening again. The understanding between the midfield players and forwards has been brilliant, but they'll probably need to add another in the second 45 minutes if they're to win this game. So, the ball rolling again. Palace trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Offside, close one. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Yeah, I like the look of him. I think it's a good move for both him and the club. Let's hope he makes an impact fairly quickly. And the goal has gone in at Old Trafford. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal from Manchester City. Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Well, apologies for interrupting, Alex. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game, and the match is level at 1-1. And he takes on the shot, putting his body on the line. Just can't get it past them. An example of how to press. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. unable to get his cross beyond the first defender don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV it's Crystal Palace facing Manchester City I like the look of that game the atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams and with play stop they will make the change now And into the last 20 minutes. Good work from Palace to win back possession. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans doing every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. And news of a goal at Stamford Bridge. He's in behind. The net is steering him in the face. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Well, as you'll have noticed, we had to cut Alex a bit short just then. Just to confirm, Liverpool did score in that game. And they're on. Can they convert? In it goes! To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next?
And there to intervene. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Here it is now, a substitution. And fired from the flank into the area. Disappointing for Palace to give it away in that fashion. Now can they counter clinically? Hardy. Here is Dan. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.